Outside right now for us is a snowy one. I guess it really depends on where you live right now. Michelle, we saw that camera down in Westerly and Newport. A lot of snow. Other areas we're still waiting for it to start falling. Yeah, and the good thing is, is that that snow isn't causing many travel no. headaches because it's melting as it's hitting the pavement. Was just checking out some of the pavement temperatures. They're still anywhere from 38 to 42 degrees, so warm enough that that snow is going to have a tough time sticking on the roadways. Let's take a look, though, because as we move through the afternoon, I do expect the snow to turn steadier. We're seeing that in our neighbors in Connecticut, and that's going to be pushing this way, too. So very wet snow right now falling in Newport. It's not sticking to any of the rooftops or sidewalks or grass yet. But as the day goes on, some small accumulation on non-paved surfaces like the grass expected. And New Bedford, you can see leading edge to this as it moves in, just melting as it hits the camera lens, some drizzle and some rain initially, but it does flip over to snow. So rest of today, I do expect to see those tra those uh, impacts with the wet snow and rain coating to an inch or two with the roadways staying mostly wet. Tonight we'll watch for some sub freezing temperatures falling up or 20s for a few hours, and that could lead to some icy spots developing our live radar right now, showing just that leading edge of precipitation pushing in. There was just so much dry air to overcome. It was really slow to arrive, but now that it's here, it's going to be sticking around through most of the the day and into the evening. Here's our low pressure center. It's going to be working its way to the east. You can see all that precipitation back across Pennsylvania, New York State, and down through the DC area that has to work its way through New England. So plan on of a wet snow falling throughout the remainder of the day when it's all said and done again. Not a whole lot, a little less along the coastline where we're seeing that mixing with rain at times, the inland spots, anywhere from a coating to an inch or two of slush and and snow mid to upper 30s for the temperatures in Providence right now 38 36 in Smithfield and in Newport and we're still at 40 in New Bedford. Now these temperatures will likely cool a couple of degrees as the snow starts to pick up today. I have us falling back into the middle 30s with winds turning from the south to the east at about 5 to 10 miles per hour. Temperatures will continue to cool, especially once the sun goes down. That would be the time in the evening hours. Last couple of hours of the snow falling. You may be prone to seeing a little bit of slush accumulate on the roadway, so we'll give you a heads up for that. Here we are at four o'clock this afternoon with those middle 30s in Providence, Newport and New Bedford, lower 30s north in Smithfield and in Taunton and potentially cooling to near the freezing point by seven o'clock or so. Providence near 33, Newport in the middle 30s. It all tapers off between about 7 and 10 p.m. tonight with the skies gradually clearing after that and again falling below freezing for a few hours overnight. So we'll watch for a few icy spots early tomorrow morning. For tomorrow, any snow that we get today on the grass won't stick around for long. Our temperatures will be into the upper 40s and low 50s in the afternoon and similarly mild on Friday. Then we move to Saturday. We've got a stormy day lining up with snow with rain rather arriving by dawn on Saturday and falling heavy at times into the afternoon. This storm system looking like it will rapidly intensify as it lifts over New England. Could see some snow showers on the back end, but the bigger issue is the threat of some stronger wind gusts Saturday evening through early Sunday. Here's the seven day forecast from those 30s this afternoon to 50 degree temperatures for Thursday and near that Friday, briefly into the 50s Saturday, but then sharply colder for Sunday. First day of daylight saving time, and you can see what it does to the sunrise and sunset over the weekend. 7 p 7 a.m. sunrise on Sunday morning, setting at 6:50 in the evening. 